In this video, I'm going to show you how Pavin runs the best bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it just simply allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest and greatest tips and strategies right here on the channel. My channel posts videos every day that are designed to help you get better on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so like I said, if you want to get up to stay up to date with all the latest tips, just hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. And in today's video, we're talking about how Pavin runs the best gun bunch in Madden 21. And if you actually want to get my complete gun bunch offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to the Jets ebook in the description. It covers the bunch, the bunch tight end, as well as the trips tight end offset. So you can get all three offensive schemes rolled into one. You can get that for just 15 bucks or yeah, just 15 bucks. And again, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It's my latest, greatest ebook, best offense in the community right now, in my opinion. And Pavin actually runs a very similar offense. And so I'm going to be talking today about his, uh, Jets dig and how he likes to run it from the bunch and how you can use this play to basically beat pretty much every coverage that your opponent is going to throw at you. So what we want to do is first and foremost we want to call this play with our bunch receivers to the wide side. So if we we're on the right hash uh, mark we would just flip the play but as you can see right here we're on our left side hash mark of the field. Now what we're going to do our first read here is we're going to look to the left side. If we can hit that running back quick we are always going to take that read very, very quickly. I'll show you that against cover two as well. So you see here, just quick little pop throw there. And as you can see, you can basically instantly truck right up the field and you can get pretty good yardage. As long as they're drifting back at the snap of the ball, they're not coming forward, it's pretty much a safe bet. So you'll see here, I'm gonna throw this against cover three. Again, they're shifting back. And again, as you can see, I can just truck instantly, get a couple positive yards against pretty much any zone coverage that they're going to throw my way. Now the other thing that's really, really cool about this is a lot of people like to run the Mike Blitz 3 um, against this offense. And so I'm going to show you what Mike Blitz 3 will look like. And basically what's going to happen is you literally don't have to make any adjustments whatsoever. But this R1 receiver is going to basically be able to bomb over the top this cover 3, as you can see right there. And Jair Alexander actually got back on the ball there. Let me show you that. Let me show you that same uh, route combination one more time. But again, this is one of the better route combinations in the game. For cover, uh, for cover three. So you'll see here again, once that corner kind of drifts off, you can see here I can pass this up and over the top. And as you can see, it's a nice little one play touchdown against the cover three. This is one of the beauties of this play is that it beats cover three. It also beats cover four. So right here, I've got a nice little cover four drop. And if you take a look at this route combination, what you're gonna notice is this is going to do a really, really good job at beating the cover four. You're gonna see once he gets to about here, I can basically pass this all the way to the right and right there, Jackson got back on me. Um, normally, that normally that route is, or normally that that uh, zone is not going to get back. Let me show you that one more time. And if it does, if you are facing a lot of cover four, then I'm going to be sharing with you a way that you can do it. For whatever reason, I don't know why he's getting bumped. If he does get bumped, just check this down. This is not normally what happens. So I don't know if I'm accidentally maybe done doing some adjustments or whatever. But I'm just going to move this zone because he normally doesn't get bumped. If he does get bumped, um, that's a whole other issue. But this is more what we're looking for right here. As you can see, I can just pass this all the way to the right. And as long as I have a good swerve catch, you'll see I'm going to get that one-point touchdown right over the top. As you can see, nice little dot against the cover four drop. Now, let me show you that one more time. And again, the cover four is one of those ones a little bit more, um, it's just a little bit more, uh, I guess, inconsistent. Um, and if it is, then all you have to do is just check it down to one of your other receivers. So you can see you have plenty of routes. You can hit your running back and left. You can hit your in route. You can hit, you know, if the R1 receiver is not open, there's definitely other options. As far as man coverage, what do you like to do? I like to basically just wait for this route to cut to the sideline. As you can see against man coverage, that route does a really good job. Another little secret hidden gem of this play is this little hitch route right here to the X receiver. Um, pretty much beats every coverage in the game. As you see there, nice little low ball. If they drop a yellow zone over on that right side of the field, sometimes that will play it fairly effectively. But for the most part, you're going to be pretty effective. And again here, this is the cover three. And as you can see, um, you know, cover three, it just absolutely torches over the top. It doesn't really matter what they do. And so that's the beauty of this offense. Now, again, if you want to get my complete gun bunch offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It covers the entire Jets gun bunch uh, with the gun bunch tied in, the bunch, and then also the trips tied in offset. So in my opinion, the... 
the uh, bunch from the Jets is the best bunch in the entire game. And I think Pavin would agree. It's the offense that he would recommend as well. And so if you want to run the best gun bunch offense in the entire game, I'd recommend you getting my gun bunch guide. It is down in the description for just 15 bucks. And again, it's going to get you the bunch, the bunch tight end, as well as the trip tight end offset. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a text. My number is 208-218-6900.